Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default! One thing I wanted to show you guys that someone was telling me about, since I've made Tiz into the Thief Job class, if I tap on the Master Thief ability there on the bottom screen, it tells you how that works. Now, in this case, it says it doesn't stack with items like the Thief Gloves that I've got equipped. I'm pretty sure that's incorrect because I have a really hard time stealing consistently without the thief gloves. I could be wrong. It could just be confirmation bias on my part, but I think the thief gloves really do help with stealing in addition to the innate master thief ability that, well, the thief job class has there. It would not be the first time that I have seen something that I know for certain is wrong from what is stated in game for abilities like that but in this case i don't know for certain but i'm i've played magic the gathering for over 10 years you get a little superstitious when that happens you get a feel for things like this how things actually work in games but yeah in this case i do not know but i'm gonna continue using the thief gloves what? Remunerations for the lost caravan? It was stolen, along with my supplies and my camels. I wonder where they took the camels anyway. I didn't see any camels in the thief's den. And this is not my responsibility, eh? You failed to protect your investments. You. We had a contract, my friend. The provisions for loss and damages were clearly written in the fine print. You don't have insurance or anything? Even so, I can't be made to pay for the damages when I've just had all my possessions stolen. I'll be out on the streets. You're already there, aren't you? This is not my concern. You will pay. Oh, if you prefer, I can be asking your wife for this money. Your daughter? Hmm? Hey, you! Get your damn hands off her! Wait, please! Leave my family out of this! That's enough! Hmm? Why are you here? Eavesdropping, are you? Sir, you don't owe this rotten band of fraudulent crooks a single peek. You are free to be on your way. I like how they abbreviate Peeg, even, even in dialogue there. <laughs> I feel this joke is not funny. I have business with this gentleman. We have no time for baseless accusations. Then what of accusations with concrete proof? Well, it's paper proof, not concrete, but you take what you can get. Piecrete? No. Nah. No. Nah. Oh? And just what is that, eh? A little souvenir snatched from the lair of the thieves prowling the oasis of late. It's a CVS pharmacy receipt. Nah, nah, just kidding. Just kidding, viewers. It bears your signature, Chairman, as well as your orders to attack any citizens approaching the oasis. What? Then when they... And you were planning to rob me now a second time! Do you want to kill him, or do you want us to do that for you? Ah, oh, this day. Oh. No luck at all. I suppose this is a result of trusting that useless urchin to perform a simple task. I forgot how abruptly the music changed that, that part. I was like, wait, what? What's going on? Then you don't deny it? Release the city's wells to the public, then. Immediately! I beg your pardon? Just who are you to be issuing the orders, girl? Your undertaker? As I told you before, this is a business. If you are too poor, this is your problem. Stupid enough to be tricked? Your problem. Don't like it? Go earn some money, eh? Too weak to defend your life? That'll be your problem soon enough. Money, money, money. These are human lives. Oh, this is useless. I'm shutting you down right now. <laughs> we will be seeing about that. Sigma Kint, I have work for you. Uh, not again. Paying work, I assume. You, you, 
You're in on the whole thing, too? I mean, I know you were working for the thief, but... You? From the thieves' den? You'd help this crook? Provided his pockets are heavier than yours, yes. I care nothing past that. Nuts. Well, yeah, I did kind of spend all my money on spells that I didn't really need in the last episode. Whoops. Irutus Profiteur, Merchant of Death. Do we have an agreement? Wow, now that is a name to die for. But of course, and I'm feeling generous today. Kill some all, and I'll throw in a bonus! Contract established. You'll have your money's worth. I don't think he's gonna get his money's worth. For boss time! And this fight is pretty difficult. It's the first boss fight in the game that I had a lot of trouble with the first, well, the first time I played. So let's see, first things first. Now, even though we're fighting Kent again, we've already got his information there from Examine. I can't see his current HP, but I don't care. So we don't need to examine him again. I'm gonna examine the Profiteur there, if the game will let me, thank you. And let's have everyone else default here. Now, what the Profiteur usually likes to do is default himself. But for some reason, he's not doing that right away. But that's okay. Now, I've got the white cape equipped on Agnes in the event that Kent tries to attack her. And what I want to do is I'm going to have Tiz steal from Kent because he has two, two items. Ah, ah, ah. That I would like to steal from him. Hopefully, the thief gloves will really help me out. Otherwise, let's have everyone else default there. Okay, well, we didn't get the second item, but that's okay. I don't care if anyone else gets uh, silenced, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's see, with Agnes, as long as everyone is above 300 HP, exactly 300 HP, you can afford to just defend for a while. You'll see why in a moment, because the uh, Prophet Tour just defended. Okay, Kent is in negative BP, we're okay with that. Let's see. Okay, so Tiz. Did I, I didn't even see if I got the item that I wanted from Kent, so I'll just go go nuts here. Uh, let's see. With Agnes, how about you go with Cure? If I, or if Kent was not in negative BP, I would have him... Uh, what is it? I, I would have Agnes defend, or default, but that's not really necessary. Now, while the Profiteur has one BP. Go all out against him if you can. Uh, don't go more than or below negative one BP, though, of course. Now what the... Okay, we got the item. Good. Now what the Profiteur does when he gets two turns in a row, he has an attack that he'll use twice. And, yeah, that deals exactly 300 damage, ignores defense, no matter what you do, you are going to be taking that damage. So, and you can't default against it either. So, yeah, it's really annoying to have to deal with. Okay, so, what we got here, let's steal from the Profiteur. I've gotten all the items that I would care about from Kent, or that I can get from Kent. Actually, you know what? Let's just use two cure spells. That ought to be enough. Go with that and start building up our BP again. Now, the Profiteur only has one item that we can steal. So, let's see. Everyone's above 300. So, yeah, let's just have everyone else default for now. Now, if I haven't gotten all the items from Kint yet, I would wait until, or I would wait before dropping the Profiteur below 4,050 HP, because that'll cause Kint to run away, just like in the previous boss fight there. So, let's see, hmm. Now, Kint does not have negative BP, so I'm gonna have Tiz defend instead of attempting to steal. And, let's see, let's go... Okay, we're gonna need some triple cure action, but that'll be fine. Let's see, cure Tiz, and then cure everyone to top everyone's BP off. 
And let's see. Okay, the Profiteur, it has zero BP, so I'm going to keep on defaulting until I see the Profiteur default there, just like that. So far, this battle is going very, very well. If the Profiteur decides to use Takeover uh, multiple times on the same person, they're dead, no matter what you do with these levels. You, they probably intend for you to... Uh, what is it? They probably in... Oh, no, I need to brave there. They probably intend for you to... Uh, what is it? Not fight this battle until after finishing your business at the... I almost said Vault of Time, but no, that wouldn't be right. Uh, Temple of Wind there. But I'm gonna go... Uh, do this fight right... Well, I'm doing this fight right now. So we'll see what we can do. And let's see. If I were a bit lower on HP, I might be concerned about Ring of Bell and Adia attacking this round. But they're doing pretty good on HP there. So we'll see how things go. Maybe I can get his HP low enough? Hmm. Maybe. Okay, we got the one item that I cared about. Now, if... Uh, what is it? Yeah, we got our attacks. And Kint will run away before... Our attacking. agreement ends here. This is what your money buys. What? I've paid your small fortune! That bears a surcharge of 51.2 billion pig. <laughs> That's not a surcharge! It's a national budget! You're mad! <laughs> then this is farewell. Best of luck. This... this is fraud! I'll see you about it for this! <laughs> I like how he just said that line. 51.2 billion pig. Sucker! <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> okay. But all right, yeah. So the rest of the battle here, let's see what we can do. Okay, so he is not going to be attacking anytime soon. So let's see. Let's go similar to what I did before. Usually, I end up spending a lot Oh, I got my special move ready. Awesome. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I usually spend a lot of Phoenix Downs in this fight because either the Profiteur hits the same person twice with Takeover there, or he does that once, and then Kint follows up with a regular attack and finishes them off anyway. But, yeah, I got really, really lucky in this fight so far there. Okay, so now he is... Uh, the, er, he defaulted, so let's see what we can do. I'm going to keep Anya's defending there, but let's have Ring a Bell use his special move. And, yeah, just go down to negative one BP. And we'll see how that works. Enough! By the way, whenever you use a special move, uh, something I neglected to mention before is that if you use a special move in one round and then you use another character's special move in another round, uh, you the second one that has a buff attached to it will, uh, what is it? Uh, it'll extend the duration of the buff from the first special move. So they stack with each other. That will almost never happen because I don't use that many special moves. But if it did, that could happen. Haha! -ha! Money! All my money! My Haha! -ha! Gotcha! Well, your money's not saving you this time. But all right, got him. Yeah, that fight... I, I don't think I had to revive one character. That fight could not have gone better. Just holy cow. Yeah, I made that look a lot easier than it actually is. Just because of sheer luck. But that is pretty much bravely default for you. Either the boss fights can go extremely well and you can do no wrong. Or everything will go wrong at the same time. There is no in-between sometimes. 
Hey, all right. Not that I care about that ability, but it's there. It cuts wind damage in half. And for winning the fight, we get a new job class that I'll never use. But it is there. It does have some abilities that could be interesting. But in my opinion, they would just take way too long to get. Unless you want to massively grind, then hey, go nuts. But me personally, nah, I don't really like merchants. Not in this game. Not like the first game. Or the Four Heroes of Light. I'm still just livid. I never knew people this unbelievably foul even existed. Can you summon your Murloc brethren to take care of them? I'm just glad we managed to root out the ones causing Anchan's people such suffering. And just look at these papers. It's proof of one crime after the next. I can only pray this will make life here a bit less difficult. At the risk of repeating myself, you'll want to have a look at this. Your journal again? Oh, what else is there? Well, yeah, we knew they were price fixing everything. Hmm. What's that all about? No signature this time. A memo of profiteurs, perhaps? Hmm, maybe we should check that out. Whatever it is, it stinks. The merchantry might not be the only snakes involved in this scheme. Well, yeah, there were the thieves. It bears checking. Let's have a look for ourselves at the mill tonight. Sounds like a plan. Do we got party chat? No! Where'd all the party chat go? Nuts. But yeah, uh, now, even though the quest prompts you to wait around until nightfall and come back here, the problem is that, well, you can't do anything with that. Because if you wait until around, until nightfall, well, I'll show you where it is where you gotta go, what they're talking about. Let's see, it's over on the left here. Yeah, there's a guard here now, but he'll still be there at nighttime right now until you finish up your business at the Temple of Wind. So, yeah, you can't really do anything to advance the side quest until you're practically done with the chapter there. So, yeah. You can't advance the side quest, so let's not worry about that for right now. Wow, everyone got silenced except Anya's, which would make sense, but yeah. Okay, so let's see. As far as abilities go, I think I'm probably just going to leave most stuff the same. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to keep you there. And I want to make Anya back into a black mage. Someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, when you make Anya into a black mage, another thing that they could I could do is we got this rod lore ability and I mean white mages are really good with stabs or rods well stabs too but they're pretty good with rods still but not s rank proficiency with them so I could use that ability to boost the magic attack of my rods when I made her into a white mage so that is something to think about it's not that significant right now but Maybe later in the game. I could think about it. We could see about that. Uh, actually, though, no. Uh, with Tiz, I want to give him miscellany so that way he can examine any new enemies that we're going to be running into. But otherwise, let's see. Support skills, yeah, everyone stays on two-handed. Let's see. You might as well keep miscellany, even though you're going to be pretty slow with that anyway. And Adia, I will leave alone there. Okay, so that's all the abilities that I want to bring with me. Let's go back to the Thief's Knife there for stealing. Though I'll want to alternate with the Ise no Kami so I can still deal good damage when I'm doing all that. Let's see, with the red ki or yeah, with everything else. Let's see, that is good. I'll keep you on the Thief's Gloves. Let's see, Anyas now. Let's take the gauntlets and give them to her. She could use the health. And I'm not worried about the silent status in the next area. No one can inflict that on us. Let's get back to the rod. You see there, it has two magic attack. So, yeah, even with rod lore, I'm not going to get that much of a boost out of it. 
And one thing about uh, using rods is I tend to like using elemental boosting rods, and that elemental enhancement effect does not get boosted by rod lore. That only applies to the regular basic stats, like physical attack, magical attack, things like that. So that's just something to consider there for that. But let's see. Okay, so that's everything for you. Let's see. Ring a bell. I want to give him the silver glasses because we got more of those Kate Sis that can inflict silence on you there. And we'll be good there. And you are, well, almost good there. Uh, let's equip you with star pendants or whatever. There's enemies that can poison us in the next area. So, okay, we are good there. Let's rest up. I wonder how Narembe is doing. I've got to be close to getting something going. But we'll see what we can do. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we are... Okay, yeah, let's see what we're doing here. Okay, I don't think anything is even close there. Well, we're almost getting those special parts. Or special move parts and another special move level. But yeah, that's still going to take us a while to sort through, or to get those all the way up to the next level there. But what state is the Temple of Wind in at this point? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Default! This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!